All right, hey everybody, I'm Terrence from Suffocation and I'm gonna take you through a little walkthrough of what I'm using on this tour right here with Soulfly and Abnormality and Battle Cross. And um, just give you a brief rundown of what I'm using. Right now this is a BC Rich Warlock, obviously you guys have probably seen it before. Um, this was a custom made model for me from BC Rich a while ago. So um, this actually is an import version. Uh, plays really well, I'm very comfortable on it. Of course, it's got a Floyd Rose on there. I'm using the DiMarzio Super Distortion, Goto tuners, obviously some speed knobs. Also, these are coil tap switches, which in turn allows me to take one of these coils and split it in half. So when I split this one up, it's only one bar like a fender, you know. So you can get that nice pangy tone out of it if you want. And the same thing goes for the front, where you want to get those like kind of Ingve Malmsteen, very round, rounding sounded leads. You really want to do that you can split the coil it's all about versatility with the guitar which is a uh, kind of a cool thing for me even though I usually run it fully blown and uh, just on rip shred you know what I mean originally when I had started playing a lot I was experimenting a lot with strings and things of that nature and uh, I really didn't know what gauge I wanted to use so I started off with a nine gauge set and I found that tuning you know a whole step lower wasn't really the best thing for a nine gauge set because the strings become really loose and floppy so what I did was I took a 10 gauge 7 string set and only pulled one out of it. So now if you look at these three strings, this is a 10, a 13, a 17. But instead of this being like a 28 or a 30, this is a 26. So this stays pretty, pretty well thin for the solos and stuff. These two are heavier. So this one's a 46, this one's a 56 which on a seven string set is the lowest strings that you're probably gonna get. So it's a hybrid set of strings. We use D'Addario strings, great company. You get a lot of life out of the strings. I mean, I've done like 16 shows on one set of strings. I wouldn't tell anybody out there to do that, but unfortunately I had to, and it actually made it. So I'm not gonna change my string company, but that's really what it is. So it's 10, 13, 17, 26, 46, 56. Awesome, tune to C sharp standard. <laughs> This is one of the kings of everything that uh, I swear by. This is the uh, Maxon OD9. Um, you can also get a Maxon 808. Almost the same circuitry. This um, pedal, I like it a lot because depending on what the room sounds like, what your amp sounds like, if you need a little bit more gain, you got this little boost. Almost like a tube screamer, but if this thing's got a lot more balls than that, which is great. Um, also in the side on these, if you can see, there's a tiny little switch in there, and that little switch changes it from 9 volt to 18 volt, which is a very, very cool thing to have, um, depending on what kind of pickups you use. If you want to really get a lot of drive and compression on your tone, it really fills in the void a lot from getting a clunky sound to more metallic kind of sound. Uh, it's very touchy. I really don't, because I use the gain on my PVs um, pretty much fully all the way up, I don't have to gain mine so much. So I use this setting, pretty much what you see right there. For anybody who's a Maxon junkie, check it out. Love the company, always support them. Uh, other than that, I use this little guy, which is always a trusty little thing that most of you guys already know about, which is your NS2 noise suppressing pedal. These are all the pedals that I'm using on this tour, and particularly, um, I think it's just a very basic, simple throw and go setup. It's kind of easy for me to um, set everything up. It's just a couple of cables. I'm using Godlike Productions power supplies for these, which is also in coercion with Maxon pedals, which is great. But these boys noise suppressors are awesome. Tell anybody who's got a feedback problem, get one of these, or pick up a decimator. This is the bad boy right here that I've been using. Um, obviously, the last time that you guys might have seen us play, we were using Vader Cabinets. Great company, always love them. Um, I have my Vaders at home. This uh, was sent to us by PV as a backline for this tour. Obviously, it's a PV6505 Plus. Great amplifier, tons of tubes in it. Um, I basically only use the preamp channel over here, the distorted side. Um, you know, I usually have my mids a little bit sunken, but not so sunken that it sounds like garbage, you know. Um, I always have my bright, my crunch cranked in there. As I said before, the Maxon and the noise suppressor goes in line with the series for this amp. Um, I think it's a great amplifier, and I would suggest to anybody who's looking for a, a serious guitar head who's looking to go professionally, 
always looking to PV. PV is a great company. Always built great products from all their heads, from the 5150, 5150 Mark II, 6505, 6534, um, Triple X, Triple X2 head, JSX heads. All of them are great. Um, you know, obviously, we like to stick with the tubes. The tubes are where you get your punch at, and if uh, technology has taught me anything, it's that tubes just produce a great sound. PV's got that nice tonality I like a lot. These are just your basic standard 300 watt PV cabinets. Um, for the most part, I only use a bottom one for myself because I don't like the shear coming into my head. And uh, that's really that's really it.